In this video, we're going to show that an estimator can be biased in small samples, but asymptotically unbiased and consistent. As an example, let's consider a set of independent random variables xt with distribution normal with mean mu x and variance sigma squared x. Now suppose we want to estimate the unknown population parameter mu x. Consider as an estimator x tilde, where x tilde is 1 over t minus k multiplied by the sum from t equals 1 to capital T of xt, where k is some positive number that's less than t. Now, this isn't a particularly sensible estimator to use, but it does illustrate the properties that we want to show. These properties are, first of all, that x tilde is biased in small samples. Secondly, it's asymptotically unbiased, so as the sample size becomes large, its expected value converges on the true value. And finally, that x tilde is consistent. In other words, it converges on the true value in probability limit. x tilde is biased in small samples. We've defined x tilde as 1 over t minus k multiplied by the sum from t equals 1 to capital T of xt. Now if we expand that expression out, we can write it as 1 over t minus k multiplied by x1 plus x2, etc. up to xt. Now if we take expectations, each one of the x's has expectation mu x, i.e. if we take the expected value of x tilde, that's 1 over t minus k multiplied by the expected value of x1 plus the expected value of x2, etc., and that in turn is equal to 1 over t minus k multiplied by t mu x, where mu x is the unknown population parameter. Therefore, the expected value of x tilde is t over t minus k times mu x, and that's not equal to mu x, since t over t minus k is not equal to 1. Therefore, at least in small samples, this will be a biased estimator. Next, let's consider the proposition that x tilde is asymptotically unbiased. We've already shown that the expected value of x tilde is equal to t over t minus k multiplied by mu x. Now if we divide numerator and denominator by t, we can write that as 1 over 1 minus k over t multiplied by mu x. And now, if we take the limit of the expected value of x tilde as t tends to infinity, that will be equal to mu x multiplied by the limit as t tends to be infinity of 1 over 1 minus k over t. Well, of course, the k over t term will go to 0 as t goes to infinity, so this in turn will tell us that the limit of the expected value of x tilde is just equal to mu x. In other words, x tilde is asymptotically unbiased in the sense that its expectation converges on the true population parameter as t tends to infinity. Finally, let's consider the proposition that x tilde is consistent. Now, sufficient conditions for x tilde to be consistent are, first of all, that it be asymptotically unbiased. The limit as t tends to infinity of the expected value of x tilde equals mu x, which we've already shown. And secondly, the limit of the variance of x tilde as t tends to infinity should be equal to zero. Now, to demonstrate this, we first of all note that the variance of x tilde is equal to the expected value of x tilde minus its expected value squared. And by substitution, we can write that as the expected value of 1 over t minus k multiplied by the sum from t equals 1 to capital T of xt minus the expected value of x tilde, which we've already derived as t divided by t minus k mu x, all squared. Now we can take the t minus k term outside the, uh, the expectations operator and write this as 1 over t minus k squared, because of the squared term there, multiplied by the expected value of the sum from t equals 1 to capital T of xt minus t multiplied by mu x. Now at this stage what we do is again we write out this term in these curly parentheses in full. So this becomes 1 over t minus k squared multiplied by the expected value of x1 minus mu x plus x2 minus mu x etc etc up to x capital T minus mu x all squared. That's just rearranging the terms in these parentheses here okay, in a more convenient format. 
Okay. Now, by assumption, the expected value of x t minus mu x squared equals sigma squared x. So that's just the definition of the variance of the x variable. And also, we've assumed that these are independent random variables. So the expected value of x t minus mu x multiplied by x t plus i minus mu x is equal to zero when i is not equal to zero. So the x's are independent of each other. Now that's convenient because it means we can simplify this expression. And we note that each of these terms here, the, uh, when we square x1 minus mu x, that will be equal to sigma squared x. And that's going to be true for each of these x terms. But any cross product terms will drop out. So therefore, we'll have the variance of x tilde will equal 1 over t minus k squared multiplied by t sigma squared x. Or alternatively, t divided by t squared minus 2kt plus k squared times sigma squared x. Now again, if we divide numerator and denominator by t, that becomes the following expression. Okay, it becomes 1 over t minus 2k plus k squared over t sigma squared x here. Therefore, if we now take limits, the limit as t tends to infinity of this variance is sigma squared x multiplied by the limit of this expression here. Now the limit as t tends to infinity of 1 over t minus 2k plus k squared over t will be 0. Okay, if we look at that numer denominator here, we see um, that the k squared over t term will go to 0. 2k will just stay as it is, but that t term will become infinity. So the denominator will become infinitely large. That will go to 0. So the expression as a whole goes to 0, and the, therefore the variance of x uh, tilde goes to 0 as t tends to infinity. So we've shown that this estimator satisfies the sufficient conditions for it to be consistent. It's asymptotically unbiased and its variance goes to zero as t goes to infinity. Therefore, this is an example of an estimator which is biased in small samples, but asymptotically unbiased and consistent.